What's up guys, welcome to another Black Ops 3 Zombies video. Today I want to discuss a couple things as to where I think Zombies is going to go and things that we want and don't want in Black Ops 3 Zombies. So the first thing I want to bring up is in Buried. When we do that easter egg, all the new crew that consists of Marlton, Misty, Russman, and Samuel, they all die. We know this because in the easter egg, we go back to round infinity, or we go to round infinity, and we find out that their bodies are there and they're all dead. So this I think was hinting at something that they are no longer going to be living at some point. Which is kind of obvious, but still. And another thing I wanted to bring up is the old crew, which is Tank, Rick Toffin, Takio, and Nikolai. We all left off on the moon. If you remember this, in DLC in Black Ops 1, we were on the moon and we just blew up the earth. Now you're probably saying, what about Origins? Well, if you remember, Origins is when the zombie outbreak just started, and that is set behind all the other maps, including Shangri-La and all those types of maps. So it, it, a lot of people were saying that Origins is in a parallel universe, which I don't think is the case whatsoever, and I think that they're going to go somewhere from the moon. They may, they may even go back to Earth, because as remember in um, uh, Nuketown, we, they, they just blew up the earth and everything was still intact and that's why like the fog and everything in transit and all the lava and all that stuff so another thing a couple things that we want to see in black ops 3 is a new progression system that makes sense the leveling up system was so cool in black ops 2 but i never got it nobody ever got it nobody ever solved it i don't think it, it, nobody even knows what it is today i mean how do you even level up? You, there's no XP system or anything like that. You just leave a game and figure out if you leveled up or not. It just didn't make sense whatsoever. So I'm hoping that they get something a little bit more simplistic that's better, which they already said that they're going to have a new XP progression system, which is going to be hopefully better than the last one. I'm praying. Another thing that we want to see is larger maps. Map sizes are like play a huge part in zombies, I think. And... Since we have next gen consoles this year, I think that this one could be really good. The size of transit was really, really good because there were so air, there was new areas, they were big, and there was just so much to investigate in the fog and in just different areas. Something that just keeps you guessing every single time, and you always find something new more times you play it. Another thing is, I thought transportation, like in transit and in origins, was cool. I thought that in transit, I didn't re really like using the bus as a lifeline though. That's the one thing I didn't like because it was either you use the bus or you're screwed and you have to run through the fog and oh my god, don't even get me started on the denizens. And, but in um, Origins, it was, re it was really, really good because you didn't have to use it but it was an easy way around the map and it was cheap. And, but I, I don't know, because I really like the bus idea, but I kind of have mixed feelings on this, and let me know what you guys think on transportation. Another thing I want to see is more Easter eggs that have ending cutscenes of the game. And Origins, news about that is just still buzzing around today, about how it ended it, the game, and everybody's just talking about like how the Easter eggs were embedded in it and everything like that. It was just really cool, and I think was a really good idea. And if they added those to every single map, I think it could be a huge hit. Another thing is, I really like the bank system, where you could store your points. Because it was really, really fun when you stored up a bunch of points, and then you just go to the bank and get them all out, and then suddenly you can just buy everything. And it just really made it a lot, a lot more fun, and it sped up the whole process by a lot. Which is really what I'm looking for when I'm going for a high round. But in the beginning... Like, when it first comes out, I don't want the bank system because a lot of people are going to be, you know, just whoring the crap out of it and it's not going to be fun like that. But when you're trying to go for high rounds, I definitely think it's a good idea. Another thing we want to see is weapon storage. I thought the weapon storage was pretty, pretty good when you knew what you were, knew what you want, but f for a couple reasons, it was a bad thing. Because, you know, people were pulling ray guns out, or I don't think you could say ray guns, but pulling pretty powerful weapons out on, like, round one. And I did not really like that too much. And, because a, lo a lot of times it just leads to them just taking all the zombies from you and everything like that. I really didn't enjoy that. But, 
Another thing that a lot of people want to see is the Wonder Fizz machine with all the perks. Which is a pretty good idea because I don't think it's overpowered whatsoever and it costs a pretty pretty good penny to get something. And you, there's always a chance of getting a teddy bear through it. Now things that we don't want is no annoying bosses. I mean good lord. Like the, the him and the Panzer Shrek. The, like the him from Transit and the Panzer Shrek from Origins. Those things were annoying and they were not worth the kill whatsoever and they were so overpowering and it just was not fun whatsoever. Another thing we don't want to see is pointless perks. I mean like Electric Cherry that ran out, I did not like that whatsoever. Another thing that was annoying was Denizens. Denizens are god awful and I hate them. So if this was all the things that you'd like to see and didn't want to see and you think you have a good idea as to where zombies are going, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, it's greatly appreciated and I'll see you guys in the next video. Weasel! <laughs>